Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So our topic for today is recursive formulas. Okay, when we say recursive formulas, a recursive sequence is a sequence which has the following. It is a starting point and a rule that can be used to generate succeeding or successive terms in the sequence. When we say the starting point, it is the very first term of the given sequence. While when we say that to generate the successive terms, which means that each successive term is usable. Okay, so now what we're going to do is to find the next three terms. So our first step is to denote the starting point, which is a sub zero. You can use any letter, okay? So what are we going to do next is to state the a sub n plus 1, also known as the general term for dimension given. Okay, so your a sub n is the current term. Then what are we going to do is to add by 2, since our rule is to add 2. So shall I state that a sub 0, also known as the starting point? Okay, so this is 7. So what are we going to do here is to look for the next three terms. So our a sub 1 is 7 plus 2. Why? Because 7 is the current term for this a sub 1. So your 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Then what are we going to use as the current term for a sub 2? So the current term we're going to use is 9. Then we're going to obey the same rule. So the sum of these two numbers is 11. Then, for a sub 3, our current term is 11. Then, what are we going to do is to obey the same rule. Then, the sum is 13. So, here are the next three terms for this sequence. Okay. In numbers 2 and 3, we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do with the current term a sub n is to multiply by 2. Which means that we have to put them together. Then we're going to subtract it by 4 by placing minus 4. So our a sub 0 for this given is 3. Then to look for a sub 1, we're going to multiply the current term 3 with 2. Then subtract it by 4. So 2 times 3 is 6, then minus 4, which is 2. Then your a sub 2 is, okay, so 2 times 2 minus 4. Why did we multiply 2 with 2? Because 2 is the current term for looking for a sub 2. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4. Then minus 4, which is 0. In terms of looking for a sub 3, the current term that we should use is 0. Then we're going to multiply it by 2. Okay. So 2 times 0. Minus 4. So 2 times 0 is 0. Then minus 4, which is negative 4. So here are the next three terms for this second example. So here, the starting point is 100. Then we're going to state the formula. So what we're going to do is divide a sub n by 5, then subtract it by 5. So what are we going to do here is to mention the starting point. Then to look for a sub 1, we're going to divide 100, the current term, then with 5. Then what are we going to do? Subtract it by 5. So 100 divided by 5 is 20. Then subtract it with 5, which is 15. Then what are we going to do is to change the current term, which is 15 now. Then what are we going to do is to divide 15 with 5. 
then subtract it with 5. Then 15 divided by 5 is 3. Then subtract it by 5 is negative 2. Then what are we going to do for a sub 3 is use the current term negative 2, then divide it by 5, then subtract it with 5. So since these are fractions, okay, so what are we going to do is to add them because both are negative. So negative 2 over 5 minus 5, which is negative 5, 2 over 5, or negative 27 over 5. So thank you. Happy learning. God bless you. Do not forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.